and I'm a Business Information Officer at Square One, Saskatchewan's Business Resource Centre. We are located in Saskatoon, but we serve all of Saskatchewan. We focus on entrepreneurs who are in the startup or the growth phase of their business. We provide a variety of services to get their business up and running and to help them make better business decisions. We work with entrepreneurs from every sector, from tech to agriculture to retail, and we have a wealth of knowledge that we pass off uh, at no cost, as long as you're an aspiring entrepreneur. So what is market research? Successful businesses collect extensive knowledge on their competitors and their customers every day. They gather this information in a formalized process called market research. This information helps you make better business decisions, provide better products, set better prices, and compete with your most difficult competitors. So what can we study when we engage in the market research process? There are four main categories of research in business that we study. The first is demographics, and this refers to income, age, sex, education level, location, and maybe household spending. The second is psychographics, and this refers to our belief system, values, what we advocate for, our desires, and our fears. Firmographics refers to our competitors. So what are our competitors doing? What do they believe? And how are they producing and advertising their products? And then we also have macroeconomics, which refers to the indirect, bigger factors in the, in the world that affect business, similar to PESTEL, so political, economic, social, technological, environmental, and legal factors that affect everyone, every business. Whether you are aware of it or not, as a business owner, you conduct market research all the time. Whether it's talking to a potential buyer about what their needs are or scoping out your competitors' prices, this is market research. When you formalize this process, you can find trends, you can analyze the data, and you can find opportunities that can help you make better business decisions. There are two broad categories of research, primary and secondary. Primary research refers to information that we collect ourselves that doesn't belong to someone else. This could be in the form of customer surveys, questionnaires, even observation and experimentation. However, primary research is very costly and takes up a lot of time. But we can tailor our collection of data to the specific question that we have. So if we're asking how many medical facilities serve ages, 25 to 30, it's easy enough for, to go around the city and ask those questions. There's also the question of ethics when it comes to primary research. We have to make sure that whatever claims we're making, whatever conclusion that we draw, is found in an ethical fact. So for example, if you have a survey of four people and all of them say that they believe this one thing, and you turn around and say that this is true, that's not really a true represent representation of the population. However, if you have a wide enough sample size across a variety of regions and demographics, it's more likely that that fact is true. The second broad category of research is secondary research, and this is the type of information that Square One specializes in. Secondary research refers to data that other people have collected and we're using for our own benefit. The thing with secondary research is that we have to, most of the time, use multiple sources of information from a variety of uh, sources in order to draw a conclusion that answers our question. Unlike primary research where we can tailor our method and tailor the questions to answer our direct question, primary research usually draws from a variety of places. For example, if you wanted to know how many people in Saskatoon loved Italian food, well, we can figure out how many Italian restaurants there are and we can figure out how much people are spending on restaurants, but we may not be able to tell how many of those people love Italian food. But we can still make a conclusion. We can still make a hypothesis. Primary research, as I said, is very expensive and timely. Secondary research cuts down on these costs. So if you don't have a lot of time or a large budget, the first place to start is using public sources of data, like Stats Canada, to find information. Since business development is an ongoing process, so is market research. The best companies in the world go through this process every day. And in fact, they have teams that work on market research every day. 
So what do you do once you've collected all the data and you have it all organized in your SWOT or your PESTEL or a simple Excel spreadsheet? Now you have to read it and actually draw conclusion, conclusions from it. Can you answer your questions that you asked at the beginning of this process? Hopefully you can, but if not, then you'll have to find other sources of information or at this point you would start your own primary research process. Just like business development is an ongoing process, so is the market research process. And this will help you make better business decisions.